Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the finest Dawn of War unification casts this side of East Yorkshire. And today we have got a 1 versus 1 on deadly fun archaeology. Playing on the left hand side as the Dark Angels, we have got Mela. Playing on the right hand side as the Sisters of Battle, we have got Odalus. Odalus will be opening up with a Novitiate Sister Squad, a Missionary, a Pristine Sanctuary, and a Adepta Sorotus Convent, whereas Mela will be going for triple Scout Marine Squads, a Tech Servitor, and a Sacristy Chamber. Now, before I start the game, I will say that towards the end of the game, or should I say, after the game finishes, I do have some things I need to say in regards to the Unification Global League Tournament, and some other bits and bobs, channel maintenance stuff, so if you're interested, stick around for that. But for now, we'll just, we'll just watch these blooming scouts rock on. Quite an aggressive opening, like, not even bothering capturing anything. In fact, not, with, not even off the first two scout squads, just going to go straight in there, sourcing out these novitiates. And the novitiates, I mean... They're a little bit more durable than the missionaries, considering that they are able to resist some damage, considering that they've got multiple models. But, I mean, the Dark Angel Scouts are absolute beasts. Going for the early San Christi Chamber means that they're able to get those sniper rifles out quick and fast, so they will be able to do a lot of damage to these infantry squads. Now, countering that, we will see a cannon S coming out, a commander armor that should be able to shirk off the, the majority of the damage from these scout marines. And I imagine if they... Ah, there we go. Going to go for Inferno Pistol. So on the move, accurate. Very, very high damage towards these kind of models. So hopefully she will be able to solo all these boys. Do love that these scouts get a red cape. I mean, it doesn't do much for the camouflage, I imagine. But certainly very aesthetically pleasing all the same. So the official squad has been wiped out. Missionary is trying his best to... I mean, run away as quickly as humanly possible. We've seen these decaps. Only so currently, these sisters have got no I mean, strategic points on the go for them at the moment. But then again, in saying that, we do have the Dark Angels a little bit behind as they are being quite aggressive uh, going on from here. So the scouts are going to be capturing this natural strategic point. But Cannon S comes out with the Inferno pistol on the go. Seeing this scout marine trying to bob and weave out the way. But just look at that accuracy. It's basically 100% more or less. We'll take out one snipper rifle as well. Unable to capture that strategic point as this very furious young individual comes forward to slay and pray all the way. We're going to see the... Oh, we're going to see the, set, the missionary coming over on this side. So, yes, fair enough. If you can't capture things on your own side of the map, may as well go over to your opponent's side and see what you can do. We'll need to regain those. I mean, how many servitors have you got? Oh, bless. You've got the one over here. Oh, just the one over here. Fair enough. So, any strategic points inside the base will not be having any listening person being popped on there for the moment. These scouts are trying to see if they can sort out the mission. And yeah, there we go. Two shots to the face, and the, and they are dead. Servitor might... Oh, dear, dear. <laughs> Very intimidating as those sniper rifles were trained on that ecclesiastical servitor as it was running away. But yeah, only one cannon S means that they can't really focus down both scouts if they separate themselves. So very nice play by Mela. And see another missionary come out and see if we can capture the strategic point. But yeah, this aggressive stance, very effective for Mela. Currently, I mean, what is it? 20 and 10 compared to 50 and 10. Yeah, this is going to be a hard slog for the sisters. We see another scout marine squad coming over towards those guys on the right hand side. And oh my goodness, it's just scouts akimbo. Standard Dark Angels match, really. Don't normally see them go for Space Marines at all, usually. You normally see them go into Tier 2. And they'll go straight to some sort of vehicles or some more specialist infantry units. I'm also able to, in the later stages of the game, go for a tech path where everything is basically got Burt Cycles or Terminator Armor. But can't necessarily taking any damage so far. Might be an idea just to keep her inside the base. Not make a chase after all these guys and go hog wild, but just basically defend one strategic point at a time. And then when you've captured one and built listening person on one, then start moving out and capturing things one place at a time. That might be the idea. I don't know that. Who really knows? Scouts falling thick and fast now. We do have a regular old battle sister squad. So maybe just kind of nice to be on the front lines to cause a distraction to the scouts and these ladies. I suppose they can also do some capping as well. And they can't be exactly one-shotted by the scout snipers. Kind of just going to focus on the scout marines. Although should really focus on these builders over here. The scout marine squad is about to be blasted out. Now, can they prevent this plasma guns turret from going up? Servitor goes down. Tech marine has got commander armor as well, though. And we've got a plasma gun to it. Up and Adam. With a fair bit of damage to all these ladies. 
Tech Marine is bobbing and weaving, going around, doing the dirty dirt. And yeah, perfect placement for that turret right there. They know they can't hold it for very long because it's basically the natural of the sisters. But placing a turret over there. Well, oh no, no, man, they're just, just going to go for it. Fair enough. Why not? Just the sheer audacity of Mela being shown here. All about this game was sent. Oh, it must have been like October sometime, so I do apologise. It took me so long to get round to it. I tend to just look at the bottom of my replay section and think, ooh, this was a new one. Best, best do this one. And then I forget about the old ones. So that's my life. That's my life in a nutshell. It's got to still be chased around. And the sisters are going to go for some more sisters, as is their wants and need. But finally, managing to get those caps online, but very far behind. All the men, mind you, 74 and 10 compared to effect, ah, effect 2 and 10. That's, that's, I was about to say, no, it's totally fine, but no, it's not, is it? It really, really isn't. Sisters need to start squam bombing some of these places. No upgrades on these, on these sentry posts, though. And I do believe they are, yeah, they're nowhere near, really, any kind of major. Oh, no. Oh, I said that they were nowhere near Tier 2. No, they, they are currently in, in the process of getting Tier 2. So, we're going to have to see some really funky players. See them keep on their turn. It's going to go for the Relic over here. No major aggression is going on there. Scouts now just capturing the critical locations. Sisters have managed to capture these bits of bobs down here. So, Scouts not really capturing the full potential of their economy over on this side. Kind of nice, slowly but surely making her way through the sentry post. Very unusual setup for both factions here. Area wise, or control area wise, I mean, what you've got. This is now controlling this side of the map, more or less. Dark Angels controlling this side. It's, it's not very symmetrical. But then again, they do say that symmetry is the hobgoblin of small minds. And straight into a chaplain, building up a cloister barracks. So maybe seeing some more chunky infantry here. They don't really have the green money to be playing around with any vehicles, so I imagine that's why they're going for that. Want to keep the the, uh, the pressure on. They built up their plasma generators. It would take them a while to be able to build up a fighting force to combat this sister incursion. I've got that plasma guns to hold up. A little bit far from the sentry post. Oh, oh no, never mind. It's, it's got quite a decent range. Fair play to it. What's going to come out with you, Cloister Barracks? That's my question. Just regular Space Marines? Just something just to tide you over for now? Could be. Could be indeed. Sisters now getting their economy online. No major killing blow really been manifested by the Dark Angels. Now going to start upgrading their sentry posts for defensive purposes. Space Marine Squad on the way. And yeah, you stick a chap in that Space Marine Squad next to your Scout Marines. Should be able to health regen your way out of most dangerous situations. But yeah, the Dark Angels losing a fair bit of their sentry purse now. I'm going to find some more sniper rifles, but I don't think that'll do you any good, young man. The cannon is just constantly hunting you down. Big Inferno grenade going off on the scouts. Managing to kill that sniper rifle, actually. I'll try and get another one. As they fall back into the protective layer of the plasma gun turret. See that chaplain come in in a big red robe. Bringing the mace to the face. But on his own. Chaplin isn't exactly the tankiest of Space Green heroes, regardless of faction you're playing them. Kind of want to sit them inside a squad. Much more of a supportive hero than anything else. Scouts are back into play. Cannon S goes down, actually. Did not expect that. I suppose that Lee Cannon isn't very tanky herself now, is she? Oh, this is my Cannon bugged. Wouldn't move. Oh, dear, oh, dear. A bug in unification? Never heard of it. What are you on about? That's heresy. Maybe. Our Look at this. Like, there's, like, there's like a listening post going on down here. Direct they capture this place. They're not even trying to capture the full stuff, are they? The second squad of battle sisters on their way. Being, being stunned by the spite of the chaplain. Now we're going to start smacking people around. Inferno grenades going off on the space marines, but they're relatively fine with that missionary coming in just to tie them up into close combat. Well, sisters open fire. But they are going to just move back a little bit. Start firing away again. Missionary not being joined within the ranks of the battle sisters. So he's able to be focused fired down pretty quickly. 
going to see some fortified position add-ons to this listing post. Probably will lose this one over here. And even though, yeah, maybe it, it might seem like a bad idea to build the listing post over here, knowing that you're probably going to lose them. They do kind of pay for themselves very quickly. Once you build them, they give you a quick injection of blue money. And then, what, after maybe like 30 seconds, they then pay for themselves? So it's not, it's not the worst idea, especially when you're scrimping and scraping for every dime and dollar. 92 to 20. But 104 and 10. So actually, sisters somehow able to bring themselves to an economic, healthy position. More so than the Dark Angels here. They've now gone for that Holy Reliquy. Celestians out and about. And for some blessed armor. So yeah, just no major influx of ladies, but just upgrading them. Being very conservative with the money. So they've only got a limited amount of green to play with. Throwing some more grenades. I'm not sure if something in heavy cover reduces the ticking damage from that Inferno grenade, but I'm fairly certain it doesn't. Logically, it wouldn't make sense, but then again, the under-the-hood mechanics of Dawn of War is a bit of a warped beast. Running through that negative cover, or running by that negative cover, trying to escape the Celestians. Chunky ladies. High in the DPS department. Got some power swords on these veteran superiors as well, sir. Won't do them terrible against close combat, neither. Heavy infantry of the sisters able to counter the sniper rifle somewhat. We'll still take the morale damage, but the Omega Fire in there as well, as well as those additional heroes, well, not heroes, but superiors are doing a nice job at bolstering their morale, I do believe. Steve Post firing down on the chaplain. Chaplain is massively overextended here. Does not really want to be engaging. Riding solo, like I said, more grenades been thrown over on these guys. Burning yellow. Chaplin on the red health now. Lamadri's health regen is pretty decent. So it's not the end of the world. It's not like other heroes where when you've done damage to them, to them absolutely ages to get back into the fight. We've got Confessor. Where are you? Oh, I can double click to find out. There we go. It's not like I played this game for about a million years by now. Oh, we've got some, I mean, salt marines. Yes, okay, to tie up these guys in close combat, negating their heavy bolter apparatus. These, but these bumming Benner grenades doing the work and also Confessor Smite almost getting a squad wipe on the scouts there. Chaplin goes down. Listing post has been rendered asunder there. And the sisters managing to hold the line, actually. Very nice idea of the assault marines. I do quite like that as an idea. What's everyone going to be working towards? I've got the machine nave been finished. They've gone for a blooming do free do dad. I think I think that's uh, them taking up into something. But for the life, I can never remember what they are. They've got three things to go for. I've got Dogmata, just basically the sister's version of a chaplain, from what I understand. So yeah, it's good for lots of heroes. Might struggle against the vehicle. Oh no, they won't struggle against the vehicles because they've got blooming Celestians in there. Always difficult to tech into vehicles with sisters, knowing that they can just basically swap into, Celestia, into Celestians very quickly. Plasma guns to going to be taken down. Sentry post on its way out as well. So resetting the board here, but the sisters have still got this stuff going on. It might be an idea for the Dark Angels to just take that point for now, just for some quick economy. The razor back there. Will help them manoeuvre around the battlefield quite quickly. That might be the idea. After all, this map is, is, is quite a long map, to be fair. You can attack down here and up here and over here. Although, I suppose the Dark Angels have already got this place. So, since working their way through the Razorback quite quickly. Salt Marines jumping all the way in. Trying to take on the Celestians. In close combat, but they seem to just be ignoring them. Veteran Superior slaying down a Assault Marine. Right in the middle of that combat. Some Marines trying to focus on whoever they can, but like I say, these commander armors are just ignoring the incoming damage. Big boom from that Dogmata over there. Veteran, oh, so the regular sisters down here struggling a little bit in that engagement, but throwing some grenades. The staff of both the Canoness and the Dogmata being brought to full effect 
against the heavy armor or the heavy infantry of the assault marines. And uh, we've got two now. So maybe, yeah, it's just a case of just focusing on close combat stuff from this point onwards. Vehicles for your long range. Assault marines for your close range. Combine them together. Oh, there we go. We're seeing the might of the death wing, which is terminators, I think. We'll see. We shall see. <laughs> like I've said a million times by now, I should know all this stuff by now, but you know what? I don't. I do too many mods, too many things. How can one man contain so much knowledge in their head? Maybe if I actually tried harder. Who knows? Anyway, something means slapping people about. And the sisters aren't really going to be doing much to them while they're running away, but the moment they something means fall back, that's when they can unload. A whole bunch of fire upon them. If the submarines on their own, they won't be doing anything because the sisters will be constantly moving around. They need some sort of firing support and the snipers aren't going to be doing that much. I'm going to see a Dreadnought. Which... I mean, suppose I'm not seeing a Mortis Dreadnought because you get a lot more firepower out of those guys. Just a regular Dreadnought. The sisters are bobbing and weaving. They've got a bit of flirt there. Could be spending that money a bit more efficiently now. Now, they're probably still in uh, survival mode. Odalus is probably thinking, oh god, I'm still on the cusp of defeat here. So he's probably just still scrimping and scraping every single penny he can. But he doesn't need to anymore. But you know, that that's what they call poverty trauma. Fun fact, if you were born in poverty and then suddenly you have money in your future life, you still act as if you are poor. Which is something I'm very familiar with. Tech Marine. Oh, yeah, okay, so the might are basically just everyone's Terminators now. Everyone's Terminators. So now it's probably time to invest in some in some Termies. And what's the economies at the moment? 110 and 52 compared to 79 and 39. Got the money for some Terminators. I'm just going to go for some more assault. Oh, no, they're going to cancel that. Yeah, if you've gone for might of the Death Wing, you may as well actually start buying things for that tech path. No point investing otherwise. Oh, I see like Dreadnought able to get a plasma cannon. Plasma cannon does a significant amount of damage towards heavy infantry. Oh dear, oh dear. Just sniping out one of those sisters there. Now actually the Tatmin can also get involved in some close combat as well. Very nice stuff. That's the fire support you want. That's the fire support you need. Now the submarines are actually just gonna stand in range stance. Threatening the sisters, forcing them to move back. But they're not totally wasting their DPS. Very cool stuff. Now splitting the sisters in twin. We do have a big spin from a Dogmata. Using her whip. Do stuff. Dreadnought, actually. Even though the... Are you Celestians? Yeah, Celestians. Oh, my, oh you've got no anti-vehicle stuff going on at the moment. You've probably lost some models there. That's probably why. Do have another assassin squad on the northern side. Yeah, they've got some stuff. But well, certainly we'd be able to stand firm in the centre. Be able to counter up that damage by repairing the dreadnought. Very tasty stuff. The submarines are being beaten down quite severely. Brilliant idea of the dreadnought and the plasma cannon, but not nearly enough fire coming in. Definitely orbital relay going for a vindicator. That vindicator should be able to counteract a lot of this. Infantry stuff. That isn't, unless, of course, the Celestians can get on top of it very quickly. You're gonna fire? Ah, oh, there we go. You fired. Looks like you're about to fire at your own tech. I mean, that. That was just a practice one. Very slow rate of fire compared to the Chaos Vindicator there. By the looks of things. Doesn't seem to do nearly as much damage neither. Oh, look! A balanced Vindicator. Whoever thought of it? Not me. Certainly not me. He needs to get out of there. Oh, no, he's been blocked in by the Paragon kill team. Has to fall back. Tetramine goes down. And the Paragon kill team going for those superiors with power maces. Okay, going for the close combat variants of them. Not sure why. You normally see them go for either the multi-melters or the... Well, just the multi-melters is really what you normally see them go for. Got something we've got... Yeah, interesting that you've... Spend the money on taking up in that path, but they're only going to go for assault marines. Very interesting. Oh, there we go. Assault terminate squad on the way. 
This has been held back by power of a plasma cannon, plasma turret, turret and a vindicator. Huge explosions, but not really chunking through the models like how you would expect. Normally we'd sometimes see full squad wipes just for a couple of blasts. But I'd I I, I take that back, yeah. They've kind of now, now taken a fair few of them out. Maybe it was just some poor accuracy earlier on that did that. This is actually losing quite a sizable amount of their fighting force, to be fair. Some of this course being wiped once again, or almost wiped. And look at that, just, just take this down, man. Kill it. Increase your own economy by killing this thing. You can do it. There we go, Deathwings, Assault Terminators. Quite purple for some reason, not sure why, but... I mean, what? 59 and 48 compared to 121 and 78. And what have we got going on for? We've got a Castigator on the way. Martyr's Gift Research. Every time a sister dies, get a little bit of faith. Paragon's been blasted either side. Well, a Castigator armed with twin link last cannons to be able to sort out these vehicles that... Surprising that these sister battles struggle with vehicles. They normally have other people's vehicles on lockdown, really. But not today, apparently. Well, a couple of last cannon blasts. Sort out that Vindicator, no worries. Salt Terminators, though, they're coming in. We're going to have the dual chain fists. Also, these salt moons will probably have some sort of melter bombs on them, I imagine, by this point in the game. If they have been upgraded proper. Chasing after the Castigator, actually. Got the Confessor riding solo at the moment. Blasted left, right, and centre. And it's anyone's game at the moment. Anyone's game indeed. Paragon's going to teleport round the back, preventing that tech servitor from repairing the dreadnought. A huge smite on the um, assault marines here, doing a fair bit of damage. Well, the ecclesiastical servitor is coming in for repairs. Vindicator goes down. Dreadnought looks like it's on its way out as well. Wonderful positioning from the sisters. Do have to say that Paragon deep strike in there. Suddenly giving him some breathing room. Dreadnought on his last legs here. And I do believe that the Dark Angels only have that one Dreadnought for them. You can buy more vehicles if you want to, but vehicles is not the answer. Not when you've got a twin-linked Castigator on the field. And Mela says GG. Oh, blimey, what a comeback from Odless here. That amazing opening for Mela being able to just basically lock down the sisters for so long. And then, I mean, Odeless just coming out of nowhere, getting that economy on the go, slow but surely ramping up by just upgrading at the minimum possible, and then, yeah, fantastic stuff. So anyway, uh, to answer the questions, um, so I've seen a comment yesterday, maybe a couple of comments a little while ago, about the unification, um, I mean, torment, thingamadoodad. And what I've done is that I've handed the cast that I was meant to do over to Laughing Max. The reason for this is that to do, like, multiple best of threes, going on to best of fives and stuff like that, I just don't have the time for it. You know, like, I'm barely keeping up with uploading these kinds of videos, let alone doing best of threes quite frequently or, or having to do that stuff. You know, I've, I've, I've got to, like, I mean, go outside and touch grass. I've got to keep up with social relationships. I've got to keep up with the um, going to gym and eating properly. And I've recently got to a new stage of... If you're a long-time fan of the channel, you know that I write books... Uh, also, if you want to buy books, I've got the I mean, buy the books down here, spot the channel. Uh, but we've gotten to the next stage of my tabletop RPG game, which is taking a hell of a lot of my um, time at the moment. So I just I just don't have the awakeness. Because well, that's the thing, I also need to sleep as well. Which is, <laughs> I'll, I'll sleep one day, but not today. So I hope that answers your questions. And don't worry about me, I'm not overworked. I'm not doing, you know, I'm, I'm making sure that I'm, I'm keeping up and... You know, taking it nice and slow as best I can, but it's a really busy period of my life at the moment and all that stuff. So, yeah, cool. Anyway, thank you so much, guys, for sending the game in. If you want to support the channel, look at the old Patreon. One pound of gets you wanted to game a week. And there is also a Discord, where Discord things happen. Links in the description, as always. As we've been Pleasure as always, never chop. And I will see you in a bit. Peace. <laughs>